During this 10 a.m. general business session, participants will gain information on two inventory features that have been greatly enhanced in SAP Business One, multiple units of measure and multiple bin locations. Starting with the expanded multiple units of measure feature, you will learn how to assign units of measure to items and gain an understanding of the relationship of different types of units of measure for items in sales, purchasing, and inventory. We will also teach how the unit of measurement groups are configured as well as how to sell and purchase in different units of measure for the same item. Next, we will show how to configure the new bin management functionality that was first introduced in SAP Business One 9.0. We will show how warehouses can now be split into user-defined multiple sublevels, supporting up to four sublevel dimensions. This option gives you the flexibility to set up warehouses by zones, floors, row, and bin. Additionally, we will gain an understanding of the broad range of options that can be defined per bin location, such as minimum and maximum level, restrictions, bin dimensions, allocation processes, the handling of serial and batch items in multiple bin locations, and many other business rules that can be configured. Once the users understand the configuration of bins and locations, they will be shown how SAP Business One transactions, such as sales orders, purchase orders, and inventory, flow through the warehouse with multiple bin locations activated. This session is a must for organizations that want to improve their inventory and warehouse efficiencies.